Good morning all and you're very welcome. It's Teresa McAuliffe here bringing in some guidance for the month of September. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you for giving yourself this opportunity to align yourself with the energies that are available and for helping the collective consciousness to raise its vibration. So I love September. September here in Ireland is a month where, you know, the temperature starts to drop a little. You see the changes in nature and it's quite phenomenal, really. All this week, um, I was watching the caterpillars. I intentionally didn't um, remove them in any way or cut down any of the flowers that they were munching on. So just watching them um, eating and eating and eating and eating the nasturtiums and all the leaves of the nasturtiums, they seem to love them and allowing themselves to breed. And there were so many caterpillars and then they make their journey all the way across the yard, vertically up the walls of the house and up under the eave shoots where they will, please God, become butterflies. Transformation. So they're giving them their cells the time to transform. And I feel that's like our opportunity as well. Whenever the autumn and the winter comes in, it's time for us to slow down and take stock really and give ourselves some quality time and reflection and uh, this winter is not going to be any different in many ways but in some ways it's going to be a massive winter an opportunity a big window for us to grow our soul you know to allow ourselves to follow our soul's path to release all the old struggles and to really release them. I actually did a video yesterday on releasing everything that no longer serves you well. And it's a short video where I actually did a guided visualization. So if you'd like to see that, just pop into the channel and you will see it. It was just up yesterday. So I just feel that the month of September, we're still going to be challenged from outside forces, uh, for want of a better way of saying it, uh, you know, with a fear narrative, lots of different fear narratives, I feel, are still floating around. It's giving us the opportunity to actually stand in our power and stand in our strength and stand in our light and grow that fire within us, you know, that fire in our belly that we need to put a boundary around because if the fire is allowed to go wild, it will cause a lot of destruction. Whereas if you harness that fire within and use it like to rise up from the ashes like the phoenix um, it's allowing you to become so much more empowered to embody so much more of your truth and your love and your light and i really feel it's the opportunity a few years ago actually probably four years ago now it was at the beginning of covid i can't remember exactly when it was but the angels told me that i was to run an online healing session really called relight your fire so it's guided visualization each week and i was like relight your fire i'm not really sure that people are going to you know want to come into something for relighting your fire but anyhow um they showed me at the time we had um, a wood burning stove and for three days in succession an image of an angel came out actually on the glass of the stove so i thought right okay okay i'll do it so I did it and I paused it just at the spring of this year. So I'm starting Relight Your Fire again um, the 18th of September on a Monday night, 8.30, I think, p.m. Irish time. And again, it's going to be a guided visualization to help us all to connect with the fire within, the fire in the belly, you know, and also to hold it, to contain it so that it helps us to grow and develop ourselves without allowing it to just go rampant. So there'll be a boundary around it and to, so that it can be used beneficially really in our everyday life. Understanding and knowing our resonance, I feel is very, very important coming into the month of September now. Um, it's always important, but I just feel that there's going to be another influx of negativity in some of the narratives. And it's really important for us to be able to negate that really within ourselves and utilize our light and shine that light so strongly and understand our resonance and you know what helps us to grow ourselves and develop ourselves and you know escalate and heighten our energy vibration 
and resonate at a higher frequency and what doesn't okay so you're going to have choices so it's very important that you're going to choose uh, empowering words empowering beliefs empowering situations and not to be sort of coerced or bullied or misguided into doing something that somebody else believes or somebody else enforces on you or pushes on you so i think it's a real opportunity for us to really step into our power and really start to be very kind to ourselves and i mean very kind to ourselves and let ourselves like off the hook a little bit instead of giving ourselves a belt of a big stick and you know saying well, why did you do that and we should have known better and all of that just have the courage to stand in your power that's really what i'm feeling and like to be in the present energy the now energy and not to be projecting out into the future and wondering what's going to happen just to you know step by step and you know there's a very old song step by step and row by row we will watch the garden grow something like that you know um and that's what I feel. It's like it, it is the step by step and, and, you know, task by task, row by row. And you'll watch your own garden grow. So you'll watch your own uh, vibration uh, rising and ascending. So it's really important. We're in this beautiful time of ascension and, you know, the darker forces are trying to hold us back. But there's nothing stopping us from moving. Our light is growing. And collectively, we are doing such a phenomenal job. So stay focused, stay tuned in, stay connected to the light within. And, you know, all is well. In the bigger scheme of things, all is really well. We're moving. We're transforming. We're actually growing our light. We're setting our boundaries. We're making leaps and bounds. And it's really important that you make conscious choices. Really slow down and make conscious choices. Don't just jump in and fire ahead. Consider your boundaries, consider what's right for you, and then make your choice. Now, that's what the angels have been telling me and my guides have been telling me. And I'm still seeing this, you know, the leaves are falling off the trees. They haven't started falling off here, but I'm seeing this image, this picture. And it's still for us. We're still releasing. We're releasing the old. We're making way for the new, you know. And in this present moment, give yourself a pat on the back. We're all here at this phenomenal time on Earth, helping to evolve the Earth into a higher consciousness state. So I'm just going to take a few cards. Let me see, Archangel Wise, who's going to be here with us for the month of September. Obviously, there'll be lots of angels and these are general messages. And if you do feel like a particular reading for yourself does not just confined to the month of September if there's a life challenge or if you just like to see where you're at um, you can book it I can do zoom you know um, or here in this room if you're in this locality but uh, a lot of people take their readings on zoom now so from all over the world so just let me see I'm asking now putting in the intention to see what Archangel in general is here for us as a humanity for the month of September, guiding us and helping us. Woo, Sandalfon, wow. Victory, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay, so Sandalfon is a fantastic angel that works with helping us to ground everything, to integrate everything. So he helps with the recalibration so when we are actually letting go and releasing and aligning ourselves to a higher vibration, to stepping into our power and to really stepping into our power and knowing our truth, it's not a struggle. It's not a difficulty. You know, the only people that have difficulty with it is the people outside of us that don't really want to see us in our power. So it's very important that you see this as as Sandalfon says, a victory, okay? So you are raising your vibration. You are transforming. You are reaching more of your soul's path and you are starting to feel that higher vibration, feel your resonance aligning with something greater than what it ever has aligned with. And the more you work with it, it's like the row of dominoes, the higher your vibration will become. So surround yourself with high vibrational beings. Choose wisely, choose consciously. And Sandalphon will help you to anchor it. You know, ask Sandalphon to help you to bring it into your daily life. Make a habit of it. Repeat it over and over and over again and feel yourself growing, 
growing in light, growing in your own power, growing in your presence, growing in your love, and let that light shine out and allow it to, it feels like you're actually manifesting, but what you're really doing is aligning. You're aligning to this beauty that's all around you. You're aligning to what's there for you already, but you have been misaligned for so long. And for all of us on our many incarnations for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years, you know, our souls haven't been probably allowed to shine because there's been the vibration hasn't been high enough for us. So the density is lifting, but it's showing itself. And we see that all around us. Unless we're totally blind, we see this all around us. We feel it, we know it, we understand it. It's there, it's in our face. So what do we need to let go of? So I'm just going to take one of these cards from the Surrender deck. Because generally, if we're in a pattern of, you know, certain habitual states of being, our pattern just runs on automatic over and over and over again. Just like when you're learning to drive a car and you have to think about all these different things and all of a sudden it's just automatic and you just sit into the car and you don't think about everything that you used to think about. And, I, you know, I, I'm aware that some people drive automatic cars. I, I don't. So, you know, when I started driving, I had to think about the clutch, the accelerator, the brake, the gear stick, the steering wheel, the mirrors, the side mirrors, the inner mirror and all of that. Whereas now I sit in and I mean, I change gears without even thinking, you know, so you just clutch automatically, you just brake automatically, you do everything automatically. And it's the same in life. We tend to just go on that automatic train, whereas now we're becoming more conscious and our choices are more conscious. So I'm asking, there's always stuff for us to surrender. And the more we become conscious of that and play our part and actually work with the guidance. And I'm not saying this guidance is for everybody because you will take what's right for you from this because this is general guidance. But if you want individual guidance just for you, just for your soul, just for your life, for your path, please do connect with me and we can do a full hourly session one to one. So let me see, what is it we need to surrender? So this is all for the month of September now. Okay, surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So now you have success here and you have victory with Sandalfon, okay? So Sandalfon is going to be the one that's going to help you to bring this success. And look at this step by step look at the steps look at the greenery look at the nature so it's very heartfelt so instead of putting things off and saying oh you know maybe i'll wait till after christmas or the spring or you know when the weather changes again or whatever you do it now okay and that's what uh, that's the strong feeling that i was getting before i took any care to stay in the present moment and not to be worrying you know about oh if i do this what will happen you know, we all have aspirations within us, you know, so whether we aspire to do something, be something, have something, and they're like goals, really, you know, more spiritual goals if you aspire. And now is the time. So don't put it off. Now is the time for this transformation. And it really is a great time of transformation. So surrender that procrastination. That's the big thing for us all. I'm just getting a feeling... I'm going to take a healing energy card and just say again for a message for us. So September is a powerful month and use it beneficially. You know, use your own power because I just really feel that it's very much about the soul journey in September. It's very much about really releasing that old struggle. I mean, everything that's been there, that's been pulling you for oh, forever. Okay, it's really time to bring the abundance of joy and love and peace and understanding and consciousness and light into your life and, you know, to be able to utilize it in your everyday life. So just let me ask now for one card, please, for September. Okay, it feels like there could be a few, so maybe there's two. So just let me work with this for a minute. Take a nice deep breath in now. Ask for guidance now for the correct card. Mm -hmm. 
And there's two and they're stuck together. Okay, so the first one says a new opening. When one door closes, I am confident another one will open and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunity and learning they present to me. Serenity comes from within. Okay, so it is a time of great transformation and trust, you know, really trust. And there you ha have faith was what Sandalfon said. And this one is telling you to trust and remember that serenity starts inside. And the second one is beautiful. I am light. And it's a remembrance really that we are light, that we are divine, that we are pure love. I always have hope, no matter the ordeal, I have faith in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and I'm spiritually strong. I draw light to me and shine with all my being. Okay, there's resonance again. Okay, so I am light. And that's a beautiful affirmation. I am light. I'm just going to take one card from Archangel Michael just to close up the month of September's reading. And it really feels like it's a month of transformation where we are ready to release the old. And I mean really surrender it and let it go and allow ourselves to be in the present moment as often as we can without, you know, buying into the fear narratives because they're coming back. <coughs> Here it is in my throat. We will be presented with situations that will help us to dig deeper, connect in with our light and shine, really shine. So let me see what Archangel Michael has to say. Our beautiful angel of protection, severing all those unhealthy connections. Here we go. Let's see, this card is feeling right. Have confidence. So have faith and trust and now have confidence. And there's a prayer. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all the divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. What a beautiful card. Now go forth into this beautiful month and become more conscious of your decisions and your thoughts and your actions and also, you know, who you surround yourself with. That's really important. So once again, thank you for joining me and I hope you've got at least some little nugget from this general reading and God bless you and have a beautiful month.